So, you're going to mentor some young people. That's great. Thanks so much for taking the time to pass on your knowledge and experience. The idea of working with young people can be daunting, but it doesn't have to be. Follow these easy do's and don'ts and you'll be well on your way. Do. Know where to go when you get to the school. Don't get lost. Hi, is this room 12? Oh, sorry. <laughs> this is a, is a, a storeroom and, and you're a broom. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Make sure you get to the school early and sign in at reception. Do. Talk to the students as adults. Don't talk down to the students. Hey there, kiddies. Hi. Now, before we start on your little projects, uh, does anybody need to go to the bathroom? Hey, show of hands. Make it clear that the tips and advice you're providing are what you would give any adult starting their own business. Do. Be straight with them. Don't peacock. Young people don't engage well with show offs. Uh, so I hit all my KPIs this quarter and did it pretty easily. <laughs> I also had dinner at the same place as Daryl Summers recently, so... Who's <laughs> that? That's Daryl Summers. He's a pretty big deal. He was on, um... <sighs> doesn't matter. Share your journey, not your jargon. Do embrace out-of-the-box thinking. Don't shut down their ideas, even if they seem a bit out there. <laughs> that is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyone got any less stupid ideas? Remember, anyone? some of the world's best innovations have come from the permission to throw ridiculous ideas out there. Do give them space. Don't cramp their style. What are you writing there? Just writing down some of your ideas? Yeah? What's, uh, what font are you using there? Oh, Comic Sans. <laughs> Cheeky. Talk to the students and offer oh, advice, and but give them time to work on their own. Sometimes having an adult there can stop them from making any progress. So, think about putting maybe a graph in or something. Do be yourself. Don't fake it. Young people have an exceptional bullshit meter, so if you're not being yourself, they'll know straight away. And yeah, so then I, uh, I invented Facebook. I just thought it'd be really great if there was a way to interact with people sort of in, in like an online community. And I just went, There's no oh need to embellish. Whatever your experience, the students will find your insights to be very beneficial. Do support the teacher. Don't take the teacher's role for granted. Ugh, bup, 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 bup. Okay, I think I can take it from here. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> is your teacher always so boring? <laughs> anyway, back to your projects. Okay, the teacher so is their greatest asset. They champion these initiatives in schools and are the students' daily go-to. So show you are working in partnership with them. Do divide the sessions up. Don't stretch their attention span. Anyway, that takes me back to our figures from the 98 to 99 financial year. Young people prefer to work in short, sharp bursts. Teach them something, let them work on it, then get them to share what they've come up with. Finally, do have fun with it. And don't, uh, not have fun with it. Remember that the students are often as nervous as you, so be confident and you'll do great. Just at this restaurant, normal Tuesday night. You're sure room 12 is this way? Because I'm certain we've walked past that wall before. Okay, yep, no, fair enough. So anyway, Daryl Summers is there and I'm playing it real cool, but secretly on the inside, of course I'm freaking out because it's Daryl Summers. 